Hi, my name is Timon, and this is going to be an overview of the DAM Linux tablet, or DLT for short. You can probably already guess from the name that the project came out of a deep frustration for the current mobile computing market. In the old PC and laptop market, we could choose our operating system and add or upgrade hardware, but this is not possible for tablets. We are basically locked into Android, iOS or to some limited degree Windows. With the exception of very few tablets that receive some community efforts, plain desktop Linux is basically not existent in this market. The hardware is also completely monolithic. They are not intended to be opened, they are not intended to be serviced and repaired, let alone be upgraded in any way. This makes them really unsustainable technology. While you could squeeze out a few more years out of your laptop, upgrading to a faster storage or more RAM, or on your desktop PC adding a new CPU or GPU, in the tablet world you can't do any of those things. You are forced to buy a new device. I want to change that. I want you to be able to switch out your CPU, add an SSD, add or remove an HDMI port. Still have that headphone jack, or if you're into making music, why not a quarter inch stereo jack that plugs directly into your equipment? You're a researcher that needs specialized sensors and would like to have a portable device that you can take with you to make measurements around the lab or out in the field? No problem, you can have it tightly integrated into your device. You're teaching electronics or do a lot of prototyping? Why not integrate an Arduino or CircuitPython enabled platform and expose a lot of IOs so that you or your students can directly interface with the device that you are working on? Do you want your tablet to double as a workstation? Add an HDMI port, USB-A ports and hook up your mouse and keyboard without any awkward mess of adapters. You work in an industrial context and rely on big sturdy connectors like DB9? No problem, create the device that you need and not what someone else says you need. As you can see, the possible applications for such a platform are endless. This takes a modular approach of PCs and pushes it further to enable whole new applications that have not been possible before. To make a module, you don't necessarily need to be an expert with complicated buses like PCI Express. If you ever made your own PCB or even made an Arena Shield of protoboard, you know how to work with GPIOs, I2C or SPI, and you already know everything to make awesome new hardware for this platform. To make this possible, I'm not only creating a tablet, but also a standard for the mechanical and electrical design to facilitate this modular approach so others can build modules that are usable with any device implementing the same standards. With standards in place, we as a community can create an ecosystem of compatible devices. Vendors can create specialized equipment for these devices that cater to niche interests without the risk and cost of developing a whole tablet just to facilitate one specific feature. And the best thing? All of this is going to be open source, so you can recreate and learn from this hardware. If I made you interested, Follow me along in the development on Hackaday.io and Twitter. And thanks for watching.